Welcome to AzureTeach.net. We are going to develop a minimal API endpoint protected by Azure AD. And the endpoint is accessible by the users who has the manager role. We are going to test the application using Postman. Before we start, please subscribe to AzureTeach.net channel for more videos on Azure and .NET. Here I am creating a new ASP.NET Core Web API project clicking on next. I named my project as Minimal API Azure AD clicking on next. If we have to use Minimal APIs we have to use .NET 6 and we have to uncheck this checkbox clicking on create. The project have been created. As we are going to use Azure AD authentication we have to create an app registration. Here I am going into Azure Active Directory inside portal at azure.com. I am going to app registrations and clicking on new registration. I want to name my app registration as minimal API Azure AD app. I want to go with the default settings clicking on register. It created the app registration. Now in the Visual Studio double click on the connected services. Click on this plus symbol. Here it will list all the services that we can use with our project and we have to use Microsoft Identity Platform. Click on next. Now click on finish. It will install this tool and this tool will help Visual Studio to identify the type of project. So I am clicking on finish over here. Now again click on this plus symbol and go to Microsoft Identity Platform. Click on next. Here it will show you the app registration that we have created. We can create the app registration by clicking this plus symbol also but I would prefer creating it from the Azure portal. Click on next and here we are not going to use Azure graph permissions or any other API inside this application. Clicking on next and it will generate the code. It will add the required NuGet packages and it will add the configuration to appsettings.json and it will add Azure AD. But here we have some problem with minimal APIs. Like if you use this connected services option for configuring the Azure AD in web API or ASP.NET Core MVC, it will automatically add the code to startup.cs class. But here inside the minimal APS we don't have the startup.cs class and it seems like Microsoft did not add the support for minimal APIs for configuring the Azure AD. So it will not generate the code. We are going to add that code. Click on finish. Now it did all the configurations those are required. Click on close. Configuring Azure AD using connected services will add these required packages and also adds configurations related to Azure Ready to AppSettings.json. Let us open program.cs and here if you see we have the code related to the weather forecast and the similar code we'll see in the regular web API. Let us remove this boilerplate code and after that we have to add some namespaces over here. So here I'm writing using Microsoft dot identity dot web and using Microsoft dot identity dot web dot resource and after that here we need to write builder dot services dot add Microsoft identity web API authentication to this we have to pass the configuration that is builder dot configuration and here we have to pass Azure AD configuration section name that is Azure AD. So if you go over here, here we have the Azure AD. Even if you don't pass this value, we have the default parameter as Azure AD. So it will automatically pick the Azure AD section from the app config settings.json. And after that, here we have to add builder dot services dot add authentication and here we have to use app dot use authentication and here we need to write app dot use authorization now here i am defining an endpoint 
app dot map get and I am giving the route as file slash download report and after that here we have to use a lambda and inside this I want to read a file and return it as a download here I have this sample report dot PDF and we are going to read this file and return it as a download I want to restrict this endpoint to be accessible only by the managers so here we can write authorize press control dot use this namespace and inside this I'm giving a role so we have to pass this as roles here I'm writing manager and as we have to read and return the file we can use results dot file and inside this we can use system dot ivo dot file dot read all bytes and to this we have to pass the path here I have pasted the path and after that here we have to mention the content type that is application slash PDF and here I want to give the file name as report dot PDF we should close this brace over here putting a semicolon now I am inside the app registration going to expose an API click on set and set the application ID URI and after that here I am adding a scope and I am naming it as read.report I am copying it I want it to be applied to admins and users so I am choosing this I am pasting the same over here 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 and here and clicking on add scope now copy the scope name go to visual studio and go to app settings.json by default the visual studio added this when we add the azure ad authentication using the connected services but i want to use a read report so i am pasting it over here and after that here we have to pass one more attribute that is required scope and to this we can pass the path to the configuration key so here i'm writing required scopes configuration key is equal to it should be azure ad colon it is scopes so copy this and paste it over here that's all this is what we have to do to add the azure ad authentication to the minimal api so here this scope pertains to the client application that is trying to access the api and this roles are related to the user who are trying to access this api before we test this application we have to fix one issue it should be add authorization and now we have to add roles to few users to test this application let us run this application the application is running successfully now go to the app registration go to app roles and here create app roles and here we need to define manager role and i want to give the value as also manager and description is also manager i want to use it to users and groups clicking on apply now I'm going to default directory and after that here we have enterprise applications and click on this application this is the same app registration that we have created before and click on assign users and groups and after that here add user group click the user click on this none selected and here I have Jessica Adams and I want to give manager role so here by default the manager is selected because we have only one role clicking on assign in my active directory there is one more user that is adam robert and we haven't assigned the manager role to the adam robert now let us test our api using postman
As Postman is our client application, we have to create an app registration for that. A general rule of thumb is number of app registrations is equal to number of applications involved in the process. So here I'm creating one more app registration and I am naming this as Postman Client App. Clicking on register. An app registration have been created. Now go to authentication and click on add a platform and I want to use single page application because I want to use implicit flow for the authentication implicit flow means generally if we use OAuth 2.4 endpoints we have to use two endpoints to get the token one is authorized another one is the token endpoint but if you use the implicit grant will get the token using one endpoint only so we can do that using any of this we have to enable the checkbox but generally we do it for the single page application so i am selecting single page application and here i am enabling id tokens and access tokens and here we have to use the redirect uri and i am pasting a uri over here because we are going to use the postman so i am using this uri and we have to use the same when we are testing the application using the postman so i'm clicking on configure now i'm in the first app registration which is related to the api and here i'm going into expose an api and clicking on add a client application and here we have to paste the client id of the postman client app here i'm inside postman client app and copying the client id and i'm going back to the api apps registration pasting it over here and choosing this scope clicking on add application it is done now here i'm copying the api url and going to the postman and pasting the url over here and writing the endpoint that is file slash download report this needs authentication and authorization let us test it once clicking on send so now it returned 401 unauthorized because we haven't provided any information related to the authentication here i'm clicking on authorization and in this we have to choose worth 2.4 and here we have to choose request headers and after that here we have to choose the grant type as implicit and here we have the url the same url we have used when we have added authentication section to the postman client app and here we have to paste the auth url and this we can get from the app registration go to overview click on endpoints and here we have the authorized endpoint i'm copying this going to the postman tool and pasting it over here and here we have to paste the client id of the postman client app so here is the postman client app copying the client id and pasting it over here we have to add the scope over here and we can get the scope from the api apps registration expose an api and here is the scope i am copying this and i am pasting it over here and i'm clicking on get new access token first i am logging in with a non-manager user clicking on next clicking on sign in so here the authentication is successful and it is asking me to open the postman so here i'm clicking on proceed use this token and let us access this endpoint clicking on send so here it is giving 403 forbidden because this user doesn't have the manager role on this api now i'm clearing the browser cache because we want to log in with the manager user so the cache is cleared now in the postman again i'm clicking on get new access token it opened the browser and here i'm logging in as the manager clicking on next sign in the authentication is successful and it is asking me to open the postman so clicking on proceed use this token clicking on send 
now we got 200 success response but it did not return the file so the issue here is we did not return the file from here so here we have to write the return statement let us run the api again so the application is running go to postman we can use the same token as it won't expire this soon clicking on send button now if everything goes fine we got the file that is all in this demo if you feel this demo is helpful to you please like this video and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on azure and .net thank you